Over the past few years, we've sampled a few different book subscription boxes, and some of them are really, really fantastic. And we've also written about a few of them over on our website. But recently, I was reached out to by Boxwala, and they have sent us three book subscription boxes to open up and have a look at. Boxwala is a US-based web store and box subscription service. They send out bi-monthly boxes in the film, beauty, and books categories. So if you're interested in beauty products, films, or books, or all three, you can check out Boxwala. They've obviously sent us three different book subscription boxes, and I have not looked at them yet, and I'm gonna unbox them now with you. Now this is gonna be clumsy as hell, and it'd be way better if I did it like at a table or something, but I'm not. First thing I notice is the fact that <laughs> all three of these are slightly different in terms of size. Now, I haven't opened them yet. I've obviously unpackaged them, unwrapped them, but I haven't opened them. They're all slightly different. One is smaller than the other two, and then of the other two, one opens from the side and one has a lid. So I'm just going to open them one by one. Let's see what's inside. <coughs> Cat hair. This is their logo, by the way. And I like the fact that the boxes have this kind of matte feel to them. You can't feel it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, there's a letter. All right. Dearest bookworm, in this box, we pair a wonderful book with an incredible mask made by luxury artisanal, 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 artisanal brand, Naturologic, Naturologic, oh my God. I swear I do read. Slow down, mask, and read. This is something that I like from reading Boxwaller's website is the fact that they prioritize slowness, the idea of enjoying beauty slowly without rushing and really taking it in. I like that. Okay, so this is the inside of the box. This is the mask. Alpha, beta, enzyme resurfacing mask, awesome. And then there's some paper obscuring the book. I have no idea what the book is, but it's a Penguin classic and it is by Barbara Pym. Barbara Pym. Do I know Barbara Pym? Excellent Women. One of Pym's richest and most amusing high comedies, Excellent Women has at its center Mildred Lathbury, a clergyman's daughter and a mild-mannered spinster in 1950s England. Oh, fun. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever even heard of Barbara Pym. Cool. This is a whole author in a Penguin Classics range that I've never come across before. How awesome, okay. So I mask up and I read this on like a Sunday night or any night because I'm self-employed. So that one opened from a lid, right? And this one opens from the side. Like it's got one of these kind of magnetic-y clasps and it opens like that. I don't know why. I like the fact that the boxes are all a little bit different. This one's a lot bigger as well. Okay, let's find out. Ooh, okay, another letter. Dearest bookworm, in this box we feature two wonderful writers from Brazil and Norway. Ooh, with newly released translations along with a delightful pocket notebook from Obvious State. Oh my god, okay, so it looks like there's one gift and at least one book. So every box is a little bit different in terms of size and content. And this is the notebook. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my god. Okay, on the back it says, it's a quote from Edna St. Vincent Millay, and it says, My candle burns at both ends, it will not last the night, but ah, my foes, and oh, my friends, it gives a lovely light. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's lovely. Eee. Okay, so these are the books. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so there's the box, there's the books. Okay, so, Everything Like Before. It's a collection of stories by Kjell As... Kjell As... Kjell... Askildsen, translated from the Norwegian by Sean Kinsella. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Okay, so this is a collection of stories, I guess. Okay, on the back, there's loads and loads of quotes from different people, including The Independent, who said that it is full of compelling strangeness. Lives surge through a few brittle pages, suppressed loves and resentments threaten to erupt. Oh, I love the shape. I love that it's like a little square shape. It's not an ordinary book shape. That's gonna piss people off who like their bookshelves to look a certain way, but I don't give a shit about that. Oh, and it's from Archipelago Books. I love Archipelago Books. Oh my God, this is great. This is fucking great. Okay, great, awesome, yay. Okay, so this is a Brazilian book. An Apprenticeship or the Book of Pleasures. Oh, I love these or titles, very Shakespearean. Okay, and this is by Clarice Lispector. Oh, I do recognize that name, but I'm definitely not up on my Brazilian literature at all. In fact, I was recently talking in a video about how much I love literature from Argentina and a Brazilian reader was like, oh, and I'm very sorry, I need to read a lot more Brazilian books and I can start with this, yay. Orhan Pamuk said, one of the 20th century's most mysterious writers. Oh, fun. The Spectator, spellbinding and endlessly fascinating. Oh, I love that it's in this pretty hardback. Oh, and it's short. It's like 150 pages. Fuck yeah. I'm swearing a lot in this video. I swear a lot, and then I worry about YouTube saying no naughty. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is the biggest one probably, but it's also quite light. And again, it has a lid. There's gonna be a letter. There's a letter. All right, dearest bookworm. In this box, we feature two writers who are very different. From different continents, from different eras, yet both incredible. Oh, another Brazilian. Okay, Brazilian writer, Machada de Assis. And a French writer, Annie Arnaud. Oh my God, I love Annie Arnaud. Oh my God. Ooh, okay, which Annie Arnaud books haven't I read? Okay. Along with an art print from Obvious State. Obvious State again. And it's an art print. See, it's different gift every time. Okay, so this is Obvious State. And this is just a print. It looks like a postcard, could be used as a postcard, but it's a beautiful little print of someone on a stage. Oh, and there are opera glasses. Oh my God, and the curtains are like poetry and words and shit. Oh, that's so pretty, oh my God. Oh, and it has the Brazilian author, it has a quote from them. It says, fate is not only a dramatist, it is also a stage manager. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Oh, as a theater baby, I'm going to really enjoy this one. Okay, post hummus. Memoirs. That's literally, yeah. Okay. Wow. I have never ever come across this writer or this book. Yeah, this is definitely an American copy because some shade to US publishers, but the paper is never as good a quality as it is in the UK. Um, <laughs> will I leave that in? You'll find out. Cool. Widely proclaimed as the progenitor of South American fiction. Okay, so as a huge fan them of South American fiction, this is shameful. This entire thing is just shaming me in terms of what books I haven't read and what gaps I have in my shelves. Fantastical, experimental, stunningly contemporary, narrating from beyond the grave. Childhood spent meddling cheekily in adult affairs. Through his bachelor years, navigating his own torrid affairs to his final days obsessing over non non nonsensical poultices. Poultices. This is fun. And the last thing is The Years by Annie Ernaux. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in the UK, Annie Ernaux's books are, I think, all published by Fitzcarraldo Editions. So they're all in those beautiful white with blue font copies that Fitzcarraldo always do. So this is different. This is, who's the publisher? Seven Stories. Seven stories, do I know seven stories? Must be a US publisher. Oh my God, fun. Now, have I read The Years? You know, I don't think I have. I don't think I've read The Years. I read Happening, and then I read the one about her dad, but I don't think I've read The Years. And I'm pretty sure that this was on the International Booker. Anyway, very exciting. I love Annie Erno. If you haven't read Annie Erno, you need to read Annie Erno. She's so fucking wonderful. I should do like a video on her when I've read most of her books, which is not now. I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna read this soon. Okay, that was my dreadful unboxing of three Boxwala book subscription boxes. As you can see, you get at least one book in every box. It is bi-monthly. And then you also get an extra gift that somehow corresponds to the book itself, or at least adds some kind of a mood. I love this. This is what I like about book subscription boxes is that the people who are making it and sending it to you are kind of curating a mood or a tone and it's just such a lovely thing to open. Half of the fun is just opening it even if then the book is just sitting on your TBR for a month or two. It's just the feeling of opening it, feeling like someone has curated a gift for you. I love that and Boxwala have really done a good job here. I feel loved. I feel appreciated. And I've got two Brazilian authors to check out. How exciting. Oh my god. Ah, okay, great. I'm in a good mood. This is awesome. All right, so check out Boxwala. I'll put loads of links in the description to where you can get their stuff. Subscribe for books and join my Patreon.